just go back, 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 back. So we just landed at Scorpion headquarters. Um, car's just been dropped off. Just seen Martin. Had a quick word with him about what we're going to do and how we're going to develop on it. Um, Mark recognised this car. Another customer of ours, Adams, um, dropped it off last week uh, for development on the Cooper 280 exhaust. They're just mocking up um, what needs doing. It's going to have a full turbo back system. Powerflex. Powerflex shout out there. Um, rest of it's pretty stock. It's running a JB4 system um, along with this Scorpion that's being developed quite interested to see how it sounds compared to any other brand. Um, just going to take a walk around the factory. Try not to keep Martin too long, it is a Sunday. So um, just have a look, have a little gander as to how you do things here. Yeah. cylinders yeah that's still done manually wow if you guys ain't seen an exhaust uh, manufacturing hub then this will be your first and it's it's an immense the amount of machinery here yeah. it's crazy cnc two benders that one does up to two inch and then uh, so these are mandrel benders right yeah cnc mandrel benders yeah and the big one that does up to uh, four inch diameter, wow. although we only bend 80 mil is the biggest. Okay. So the rest you do, like pie cuts and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, the, for the larger bits and stuff, yeah. Wicked. This, these are two seam welding machines. So when they've rolled the silence the cases, one of these machines and it just runs a perfect weld down the seam. Yeah, that's that's what's so unique to Scorpion because the, the seam on that is quite clean and yeah. a good finish for us. A lot of the other companies I've seen have, have been either pressed. A lot of them have got the pressed end yeah. plates these days, yeah. Pressed yeah. or kind of mid welded. Yeah. No, that will and assemble all that. So that you get your round silencers, then this is the box press. So whatever shape silencer you're making, just the, they've got these boards. And they just squash the silence into to, to the right shape, and then okay. you put the end plate end plate in, and that holds the shape. Then. Wow! And then this machine here, this is the filling that we use. It's continuous fiber, and it, the calculator a set weight for depending on the volume of the silence, and that just fires in that weight. Ah, so you don't use wadding pre pre no, made at all. No, we use this continuous fiber because it's it. It's like another precaution to stop it and the silence is emptying. Yeah. So we we wire wool all the paths as well as another precaution. Okay. And then as I say we use this continuous fiber. So this is why all your scorpion systems can withstand our tuning and flames. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's yeah. probably and, why. And that's why we're, we're, <laughs> we're able to offer to the lifetime guarantee. Right? Yeah, the lifetime guarantees yeah. from Scorpion. Ain't I don't think you can get a lifetime guarantee like these guys. Um they're true to the word. And the quality is second to none, as you can probably see here in the this production. This here is where all the silencers are finished, so the caps like that, just tacked in. And yeah. then we've got a guy here, and he manually fuses all the end plates on. Oh, is it? Yeah. I always thought it was laser etched or. No, no, it's it just embosses it into the uh, tailpipe body. Oh, wow. Very classical machinery here compared to what we think. I mean, we yeah. think everything's automated and everything's That's kind what of. People think, and, and you know, come and have a tour around the factory and, it, and then see how, how uh, manual it is as well. Yeah. Yeah. Very labor intensive and kind of, you know, your stock 
of the bends and kind of what you yeah. do. Yeah, Very so precise. This is the messy bit. <laughs> I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up. So I'm going to guess this is the polishing station. This is a polishing shop, yeah. So yeah. metal comes in as a in a raw finish. Then you've got a guy here, he linishes it first, just to get any scratches or anything like that, to mm. get that rough finish, and then buffs them up on the uh, on the mops, and you get this mirror finish. Wow. Again, all done by hand. All done by hand, yeah. So they, they come in the jig. Yeah, all the components come down. So like that one there, that's how this guy gets it. So he's yeah. got, got the three bits, puts them in the jig, tacks them up. Yeah. It should be like that. Then pass it to this guy here, and he just finish well. So it's all. <laughs> section here is where we make all the uh, titanium parts oh lo and behold titanium <laughs> <laughs> so this is what they're developing on the cooper i believe <laughs> it'd be nice it will be nice yeah um yeah we do do about four titanium car exhaust then uh, mainly gold 6 r to uh, rd ttrs ttrs is big for you in america isn't it for the titanium yeah, yeah. yeah. and uh, we'll sell probably two or three titanium systems a month it's not a lot, but we don't promote them, but it's a good uh, string to have to your back. So the biggest um, waste from our workshop is foam packaging that Scorpion use. <laughs> we don't know what to do with it. Always wondering how it's made, so uh, Martin's going to tell us quickly. As to how it's made and how it functions. Yeah, so basically you've got the the outer outer package in here. So um, it fires the two compounds in, which when they mix, it expands. So you okay. can make it into like little individual sausages like that, or, uh, or a big big bag. And it, it, it is like I say, it's malleable when you put it in the box. And then you so it forms to the shape of the product. And then you quickly type the box. Yeah, in then you just and it cools in yeah, there. Yeah, just staple the box shut, and that's it. Wow. As you can see, there's a lot of work. <laughs> World exclusive, isn't it, Martin? Yeah. World exclusive, BMW M3. This is the rear box for it. <laughs> Being produced, should be ready next week. Yeah. How many you got on back order? Um, I think there's. A all sold actually. Oh, they really? Yeah, there's a batch of ten going through. I think that eight or nine on them are sold, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll have some interest when they come. Yeah. Back. Most definitely. So that's a wrap. Thank you, Martin, for showing us the the production and everything in here. I'm godsmacked. Yeah. <laughs> I literally am. It's so much machinery and so much kind of labour involved and. You kind of automatic. You think a lot of it's kind of automated and machine, but it's not. It's all handmade in the UK. Right. And we should be proud of this. Definitely. So yeah, thank you, Martin. You're welcome. <laughs> You're famous now. You're on That's YouTube. Right, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we can catch these guys at Vag Tuna, um, July 16th. Um, we should be. I think we're sharing a stand, are we? Yeah, yeah. We so um, we should be on track and. Yeah, you get some track time. And stuff. Do some videos and stuff. I'll take it from there. Till next time, guys. Catch you in a bit.